Between 2000 and 2015, people bought 60% more clothes and discarded them in half the time. In a bid to reduce the volume of clothes condemned to landfill, some charities joined forces last year and launched a campaign called Moving the Needle. Historically, the charity sector is very competitive and one of the exciting opportunities provided by Moving the Needle is that Salvos, Red Cross and Vinnies are collaborating for the first time ever. What is Moving the Needle? It is the realisation that the charities have a bigger part to play in what sustainability means. That's really where it came from. They know that a whole bunch of stuff ends up in landfill. They know we're over-consuming. They know they can get access to a lot of second-hand clothes that they're not currently getting access to. For example, if this top has another 50 wares in it and I don't want it, tomorrow I should give it to the op shop because it can be appreciated and well-loved and looked after for however many it more wears, rather than me saying, OK, I don't want it anymore, <laughs> in the bin and next. Large and small fashion brands joined the campaign. Good job. So moving the needle, we thought that's just such a great initiative, informing our customers of how they can keep things out of landfill. All being diverted from landfill. How cool is wow. that? Wow. Pretty amazing. I've got my home clothes, which I'll wear until I can't wear them anymore. But they're still in good condition. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I like that. So I've got a pile of those that I've brought in for rags. And also there are some clothes that I've got that I no longer fit into them. So I've brought them in for resale. Great pieces. Can Look. put it in this one? OK. I think this one's for sale, for book. charity sale. Look. Sock. Odd sock. <laughs> That's what we like to see. How do you get rid of your old odd socks? Okay, not so the bin. Not the bin. Not the bin. Not That's for rags. Yes. Yeah. Where do you put them? Mm. So if we can be a part of, of getting that message out there and providing a space where we can talk about these things, it's, it's great. Mm. So we don't have a shop front mm. because everything we make is made to order. We're going to start trying on your clothes because that's what you're also here oh, for. Great. Thank you. <laughs> So we've got your pieces for summer. Yeah. Should we start with a skirt? Yeah. Okay, cool. This unique retail concept started seven years ago. We were competitors at the time, and um, even with a small business, you get leftover stock. This was a good one, that tea. Do you think we could do something like that? Mm. So we were sitting in an outlet centre and we were just quite miserable looking <laughs> at all of our stock. There were so many other shops full of so much stock. Back it on the floor. This is just totally wrong. Like this is the this is the graveyard of clothing here. So we were like, nah, we've got to change. We have to find a new system yeah. that would not eventuate in stock left over at the end of the season, which in the normal retail wholesale model is inevitable. Okay, let's play. We've really put the customer in the driver's seat. So we design a collection and we invite our customers in to have a look at it. I've got pockets. You do have pockets. Just above the knee, or kind of mid knee. They get to try everything on and they really dictate what we, what we make. Mm. Yeah, we don't have to do any guessing. Should we try another top on with a skirt? Yep. yep. They'd mm. get what they want. We would be satisfied with our offering. Actually, you don't want right. it too, too tidy. Neat. And there would be no waste left over. That length yeah. is looking really good too, yeah. isn't mm. it? So that's, that's really cute. Across. How's that for a revolutionary ah. idea? <laughs> so it's kind of going back to being the tailor. Oh, great. That's good. Yeah. Sharp. Oh, very nice. Ta-da. What about the fluoro? I love that. I love that too. You could bicycle yeah. it. You could bicycle. <laughs> uh-huh. We really hope that we can be an example of a business model that can work across different scales. We hope that we can set the example for bigger companies that have the funds to actually set up their manufacturing themselves, because we can't do that. Then it's a way of the future. It's viable. Bye-bye. Mm.